Hi beautiful people, it's Jacqueline again. Before I go today, I'm going to show you one more sopping. I call it sopping because it's fun. Even the sound of it, sopping. Okay, this is our coconut milk. If you remember, we've done goat's milk soap. Goat's milk soap has great benefits. If you are somebody who is vegan, people who don't eat meat and things like that, you could use the milk from coconut instead, or you could use almond milk, or you could use soya milk. So tonight, I'm going to make coconut milk soap. Are you ready? My gloves are ready. I'm going to put on my goggles. I'm ready in long sleeves. And now, let's start in the place of water. What I'll do, I'll measure this nicely. It's going to be a cold process doing um, the coconut um, milk soap. However, what we are going to use this time around is coconut milk itself. Put like solution to make the soap. That means the coconut milk has replaced the water. Instead, we are using the milk. Hope I'm not repeating myself several times. Okay, I measure this quickly, and then we shall start. Same, almost equivalent to the water. We're just swapping water and putting milk. Okay. I'm going to release the air bubbles. I've put my my oils, basically coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil. Next, I'm going to put my coconut milk. It's quite heavy in a way. And then blend them together. This coconut milk has lye in it. Okay? It's quite noisy. I'm going to blend and to make noise. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate an orange color that I've already prepared. That. And we are going to have one colored soap. I'll pause this part to blend as quick because it's quite noisy. Since we are making one particular color of soap, I'm going to add the orange color to it and my fragrance or uh, my um, essential oils i've already prepared here it's very very sweet in smell but that's what we are going to use today i'll put it right now such that we can incorporate it quickly still warm but maybe we can put it a bit later i'll add the colors to blend nicely that is the orange color is all we are using so i put it so that it mixes well that is my orange color. This soap is going to be one color. It will be orange buzz with a very lovely smell. I believe anybody who uses it will love it. It's quite calming, relaxing, luxurious. And the benefits of this is quite moisturizing, cleansing. Children can use this soap and adults. It could be used for just the soap only, for the face only, or it could be used for the whole body. So let's mix in our orange color to all turn orange and blend a bit more before we finally add our essential oil. Dear friends, I'll keep an eye on the temperature. This is a, a, a laser infrared thermometer. That's the red light you see in there. Just keep a check on the, on the temperature. I don't want to add my essential oil above 160 degrees of this mixture or this butter. As you see, once I've added the color to it, that's the orange color, it quickly starts to start showing a trace. So that means once I put the, the essential oil, it's even going to react faster. So I have to be quick when I'm moving. So I'll keep my temperature gun at hand. This is my essential oil. I've already pre-measured it and this is what I'm going to add. Once I do that, I'll quickly put it in the mold because I can see it is already showing um, a major trace. Look at that. If I try to drop it, it really leaves a mark. Okay, I'll add my, my essential oil to it and blend quickly one more time to ensure that it mixes all through the soap butter and then pour it into the mold. Don't forget.
forget that this is coconut milk. I've made coconut milk with a lovely smell in it. I'll pour it in the mold, leave it to sponify over 24 hours or under. It will be at 18 and it will be ready for making a good soap. Then I'll, I'll mold it and keep it for 6 to 8 weeks. Remember, the more you keep this soap on the shelf, it dries out, the water dries out, evaporates soap, and it lathers more. So if you want to use it quick, by 6 to 8 weeks it should be ready. But if you can keep it longer, that will even be more beneficial because the bar lasts longer. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pour it in the molds and then leave it, cover it nicely, leave it to sponify over between 18 to 24 hours and we'll show you the amolded part. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to use square molds so I'll pour my soap butter into that. I'll be quick because it is really showing stress and the more it solidifies the harder it becomes to pour it out. I'm quick with this. so. Hope I'm in focus. You can see what I'm doing. I'll cover these bars overnight. Leave it for 18 to 24 hours, depending on if the soap has solidified nicely. Unmold it, shelve it for six to eight weeks, and to be ready to use. The scent of this is so lovely. Very lovely. There we go, I'll keep going with that. Hi everybody, this is Jacqueline from Jovims. Uh, today we've elapsed our 24 hours and our soap butter has reasonably solidified. Actually at this point, we're going to unmold it and stamp it. I'll only show you one bar that I stamped, then I'll continue. For this moment, let's unmold this. This is one of the square bars. This was our orange soap. Okay, I'm going to unboard this just by pulling apart and pushing out. This is how it looks. Okay, that's the first bar. I'll unmold this as well. Afterwards, I'll clear all what we call beveling. It's just really trimming off the edges, making it really pretty and cute. And then I'll stamp it. Okay. I've taken out two. I just want to show you how I stamp that. This is my Jovim stamp. This is an alcohol spray or rub. The best way is to sprinkle a bit or spray a little bit on the stamp. Such that it doesn't stick onto the soap bar. After you've done that, here is the back. Would set it on the floor or gently press against it like that. Better on the floor or on the table, something hard and plain. I'll press it down. It's a firm pressing, but the soap bar is still soft. When I take it out, I give him logo is clear on their fine beauty in nature. Give him organic soap. So that is it, my friend. I'm going to stamp all these other bars and then we'll unmold the rainbow soaps as well. This is the coconut milk soaps. Mm, they smell lovely. Trust me, they do. Okay. If you've not subscribed and you're new to this channel, please don't forget to press the red button. Thumbs up, hearts to our team for anything you've enjoyed in this video. If you have any questions, anything you want to learn from scratch, please check out our videos that we've done already. If anything you've learned in this or you want to know a bit more, leave me a comment below or follow me on Facebook. We have a page there, Jovim page. Please. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.